Walking the streets, I always try to get a glimpse of life behind the walls. Houses look the same, people look the same. Facades create consistency, but life can't be the same, can it? I imagine a wildlife behind the bricks, people letting loose, dancing and crying, seducing and punishing. But mostly, I just see a cat on the windowsill, or someone staring at the TV, or I see me. It's difficult to see through my own reflection. Looking in the mirror, I never see myself the way I look at others. Sometimes my body parts seem to distance themselves, as if they were slipping away, as if my figure was building up in front of me, begging me to be judged. I see legs, ears and hair in places where people in magazines have none. I search my body for differences, I think of another me. A shadow nestling in my head, powerful enough to pull me down and to be pulled back up whenever I want to compare myself. I look at my body as if we don't belong, not allowing myself to really see, feel and dwell, to like, to admire or to be proud. Sometimes my eyes can't ever meet my own eyes in the mirror. Am I ashamed? People say beauty is symmetry, that numbers define aesthetics. Beauty is not a mathematical problem, and if it was, what would be the solution? An army of lookalikes. The desire to belong leads to uniformity. To be an average beauty means living a contradiction. Why can I not find myself as beautiful as I find others, like I find you? once you come close. When your face blurs in front of my eyes, my pupils sting by the struggle of keeping you in focus. I look closely and lose vision. You become colours and forms, shapes and lines. Details reappear if I pull back. The fine hair on your temple, the thin scar on your left cheek. Learning to take a closer look is exhausting. Don't be a maybe, but how could I not be? There is no alias of myself, no choice but to be me and still be many. Sublime, withdrawn, daring, bold. <laughs>